design is science that meets art. It's the science that defines how we need to change the world and it's the art that is going to implement it and cause people to want to use that change. The design process, especially human-centered design, is all about designing with someone and it's about using the ideas of empathy and inclusion and making sure that it's a collaboration. In Friday's workshop when we were trying to find solutions to patients with asthma, um, during the ideation phase we were just supposed to be brainstorming and writing down ideas on post-its and over the course of 10 minutes I had come up with like three ideas. And I looked around the table and all my teammates had just like tw at least 20 post-its full of ideas and I realized that I was really limiting myself and not just being free with the brainstorming process and so that insight was new to me and I'm, I'm really excited to bring that back. So yesterday Beth had us do an activity where we thought back on all the organizations and groups we've been part of and thought about the ones that we really liked and what was so great about it. And through that reflection I realized that having the same values and excitement and energy about what we were doing was really important to making that a good experience. So I'm really passionate about DFA and as I talk to people, I want them to be as excited as I am. So I want to make sure that when we bring this to UCLA, that I have found a way to help recreate that same experience I had and get everybody as excited as we are. Yesterday I was really inspired by the concept of design as imagining the future and then working systematically towards that future um, and how it's tied to leadership um, and how important it is to live and work and design with purpose and to your ideals.